All right, I thought a little bit more about what you said, Ion, and I think I like that. Uh, fearless for Mario and Bowser, because they need to keep their attack as high as possible, right? So we can knock those candles out. Or, okay, you're saying elemental for Mario, Bowser and Gino would be attackers, so fearless on them. Mario using jump is using special. Well, the thing is, uh, Gino wasn't doing very much damage. That's the only problem. Gino was only doing 90 damage. Mario... Oh, no, you're right. Mario's regular jump doesn't do very much damage. His super jump did, but we're gonna just have him use regular jump now. Agree. Okay, elemental for Mario. Bowser and Gino get fearless. Got it, got it. That sounds great. Um, yeah, the only, the only issue is for whatever reason, he was always putting Gino to sleep and not Mario and Bowser. You did farm jump a little. Yeah, yeah. Tried, uh, let's see. Exertion thirds that. I don't care what any of this means. You would need one more. Right, right. One more fearless and one bathtub for Mario. So we're going to grind a little bit more. Level up his jump ability some more. And get a few more coins. We probably have enough to buy one bathtub ring and one fearless already. But I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a little bit left over. A little bit of gold left. Oh, I based it off. Not a big deal. And boom. Funny how the pixels glitch out a little bit. I don't remember that on the original Super Nintendo. I think it's an emulation thing. Oh, we got 13 coins. Nice. Mario got 7 HP, 5 attack. Excellent. 4 defense, 3 magic. That's good. He's level 11 now. Oh, sweet. Gotta go magic if it's 3. What are, what are our, how much do we need for the next level? Okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe three or four, five battles. And go buy our stuff and give it another try. So you know what's funny when you, when you skip battles your first time through a dungeon and you come back and grind like this, it's actually faster overall because we're getting enemies like all in a row. So we're gaining experience faster this way and we cleared the dungeon faster the other way. I might be wrong about that. <laughs> Just trying to justify the grinding. Okay, one battle down. Um, goodie bag. And jump time. I think it still kills this guy. I feel like I might have been a little early on that jump. I'm not sure. Though. Six. Oh, yeah, because there's only two enemies. Oh, Mel got a level up. That's cool. We never did get to try out his new ability yet. Someday. Okay, probably going magic attack. More than likely, and definitely. Wow, his magic attack is actually higher than Gino's. That's crazy. But then again, he is one level higher than Gino. I would just expect Gino to out magic Mallow by far. Such great sound effects in this, am I right? Alright, good bag. Then the jump, the usual. Okay. You know what, uh, the only reason it's tempting to keep grinding even more is so I can have an excuse to use another flower tab and up our MP max even more but I think we'll be alright once we get those fearless pins and bathtub elemental resistance we take a look at our inventory I don't think we've been getting item drops not that I noticed certainly 
Okay, we got room for two. Two more. And we got two, four, five flower tabs. Quite a few mid mushrooms. Two, three, four, five, six. Probably good to get us through the boss. Okay, I think we'll kill these two and then give the boss another try after buying the stock, of course. I want to see exactly what this sounds like when I don't get the critical. Okay, he doesn't chomp without the critical. Now I know. Beard magic! What's up, Jump my brother? What's up? Not much. Uh, I was kind of starting off with a rough day, but I'm starting to feel a lot better. Oh yeah, World of Warcraft. How did that go? I only caught a little bit of your stream the other day. It seemed like you were in a pretty tough raid. But welcome to the stream, Beard. What's going on? How are you doing today? Down two bosses. Nice. And that was like endgame high tier raids, right? That was certainly the impression I got. Those were some really tough ones. You said you were leading it, so uh, are you the tank by any chance? I always play it as a tank in FF14. Just heroic. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. You are the tank, yeah. You know, I don't remember if I mentioned this in your chat, but... Uh, um, I was always a tank. I like to be a tank because they have the coolest armor. And in Final Fantasy XIV, I was kind of more on the casual side. You know, I'd play through an expansion. I'd only do each dungeon once. Except in the beginning with ARR, I like, I was grinding all the time playing like, you know, four or five hours a day. Even after I beat the game and the, and the end game stuff. But... Okay, let's make sure we don't screw this up. Yeah, but so anyways, I'd be leading as a tank, and it's my first time playing it, right? So it was kind of a struggle sometimes. Oh, this is 145, okay. Um, yeah, and most people were super cool. You know how it is. Most people are really cool, but every once in a while, I'd get someone who's really impatient, you know, and it's like the 20th time they've done that dungeon. And I, I usually moved really fast, too. Like, I would, uh, I would pull in multiple mobs. I would always ask the group first, like, hey, do you guys want to do multiple mobs and try to be quick? Even on my first try. So I'd pull in multiple mobs and it'd go great. But like I said, every once in a while, there'd be a player who, no matter what I did, they'd keep like complaining, and saying I'm not fast enough. It was very rare. In fact, that was before I started pulling multiple groups. After I started pulling multiple groups, then people never complained. <laughs> Also tank in FF14. Nice. ARR was a lot of fun. That's how I made close to 50 million gil. Nice, nice. I think I I think I had just a couple million gil when I stopped uh, at the, after the last expansion. Get those a ton yourself. Happens all the time, brother. I just do big pulls. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it, I mean, it's fun for me, too, because most, most dungeons, except for the, the rare ones, are pretty easy, even if you do big group pulls. Okay, so we need to go to that other town, buy another Fearless Ring. Let's go ahead and equip Mario. But yeah, man, you're bringing back some fun Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. This isn't the one that gives us elemental resistance? I'm confused. Did I buy the wrong thing? I bought the wrong thing, didn't I? <laughs> Just a moment, let's rewind this. Okay, before we buy. All right, Super, you're gonna have to remind me. I could have swore it said that the bathtub ring gives you elemental resistance. Probably be doing some Valorant or CSGO later. Right on, right on. Just depends on how I feel. Yeah, man, I've been in a uh, RPG mode, a JRPG mode for a while. So let's see, Elemental for Mario. So maybe I just got mixed up. Is uh, the amulet must be Elemental Resist, right? So in that case, all we need is a Fearless Ring. That's that. That's really interesting that you also play FPSs in addition to MMORPGs. 
I don't blame you. I'm leaning towards RPGs. Yeah, you know what I found recently, Beard Magic, is uh, JRPGs, turn-based JRPGs, hit the spot for me when I'm streaming. Because it gives me opportunities to talk a lot, keep up with chat, and they're not super stressful like a lot of action games are. One sec, look. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking now I'm almost sure it's the amulet. Because the bathtub ring isn't equipable. It's almost tempting to buy, to get Mario the gear that gives him more pants, but I, I don't think I'm going to. We could get him 10 more attack, but nah, I don't think so. I think we'll be fine. Because well, Mario was taking some pretty serious damage from physical attacks occasionally. Do still need to heal. All right. Battle Brimming's accessory halves damage from elemental attack. The above text is from and is available under Creative Commons. Oh, yeah, so the thing is super. I can show you if you want. But I bought the bathtub ring, and none of our characters could equip it. Hey, should I stay in the deluxe room, super? I'm tempted. Or, I mean, should I stay in the suite to get that? bonus item. Let's just see what we get. And then I'll reload. We also will attend you in a minute. What great service, right? This is the gift we promised you upon selection of the suite. Hope you will enjoy it. Flower tab, okay. We can get that later in the game. We don't need it right now. Enjoy your stay. We certainly will. So I thought I remembered somebody saying that the amulet also reduces elemental damage. And since we can't equip the bathtub ring, that's not an option. And I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. I'll, I'll show you, Super, in case you're still looking. And we'll reload. Right here. So if we buy the bathtub ring again, actually it says right here, it says no one can equip it, so you, you can tell in the description. It says you'll win her heart with this. I'm guessing only Peach can equip it, you know? So if you look here, unequipable, unequipable, unequipable. So we'll just go buy another Fearless Ring, keep Mario with the amulet. It gives him stat boosts anyway, so that's pretty cool. I'm fine, thank you. Just rested. Alright, so I think this is going to be one of the more recent towns. Probably Rose Town. Started a Blasphemous. Ooh, how are you liking it, Exertion? And you're going to have to remind me, you've not played Blasphemous, correct? This 2 was announced. Nice. Yeah, that one's on my list to play eventually. It's probably not next. I mean, maybe. I've been kind of alternating Metroidvanias with uh, uh, RPGs, so... But there's also Blaster Master 3. Actually, that one's kind of high on the list to play soon. Alright, should be set up. Bought it for the Switch, but I don't like the Switch controller. Yeah, my Switch has just a little bit of input delay, whereas my PS5 doesn't at all. The PS4 had a little bit of input delay for me. Nothing terrible, but it was noticeable compared to my PC. PC has fantastic input response. Alright, it's time. Oh wow, it was on sale for 5 bucks on Switch. Game's usually 25 I'm guessing, Exertion, that sale is only for the Switch version, right? Not the, not the PC version, or else you would have bought it on the PC, huh? Right. Oh yeah, there's another save in the ca in the castle. I just remembered that. Bought it on PC. Wait, what? You said not on PC. You bought it on PC? Do you mean what? You have it on PC also? But I originally had. Oh, oh. Oh no, oh no, on PC, not not on PC. Oh, so it's five bucks on PC? Well, oh, crap. Dude, I'll buy it. I'll buy it for five bucks. Sure, we explore. Those are the chefs. Those evil, evil chefs baking an evil, evil cake. G2A. G2A. 
That's the site. Oh, it's five bucks on G2A. Gotcha, gotcha. You don't bring too much to the party. Why don't you help me here anyway? At least you'll feel like you did something. I like how he backs into the door, and it makes sense, because his shell has the spikes on it and the durability. And go. This is where I'd like a fast-forward feature. Interesting, I don't think Booster has the crown yet. No, weird, he doesn't have the crown on yet. That's odd. So I'm starting to wonder if Bowser kissing Mario is the best scene, because I think that was the scene we got when we did this the fastest. Very strange thing, am I right? Yep, she dropped her wedding gear, so she's pretending to cry to, to delay the wedding and give Mario a chance to come in and save the day, as Mario does, as Mario is known to do. And four, buddy. Okay, this will be our fastest time ever. We're gonna set some world records here. Ready? Ready, guys? This is gonna be a brand new speedrunning strat. Let's get it. Okay. All right. Real quick, something good might happen. Like, something good like Bowser kissing Mario. That's a good thing, right? Put one down. Funny how these guys trust me, even though they like to fight us. One more. Yeah, okay, that was fast. Okay, world record. Uh, whoops. Come on. Jump. No. Oh, there you go. And... Time. Ho ho, there it is. Mario, you're finally here. She knew he was coming. I didn't notice that last time. I think we'll get the Princess Peach kiss. I hope we do. Because we just set a world record time on that. Okay, now I know. Bowser kissing Mario is the best ending. It's official. Confirmed. Bowser and Mario are destined to be together. You were right, Exertion. Oh, Peach sort of joined us. Wait, what? Well, she's not in her party, right? No, not till after battle. That's too bad we can't use her here. Although, it would be kind of rough if we had to use her for the first time on one of the toughest bosses. Right about what? That uh, Bowser and Mario are destined to be together? You didn't say that exactly. You're taking the pride away. But, you fools. All right, basic attacks for these fools. We equipped our stuff. Gino and Bowser have the fearless ring. Whoa, 198, since when can he do that much damage with a basic attack? I guess the cake is pretty weak before the candles are lit. So Mario's got the amulet, and we're hoping the amulet is elemental defense. I, I could have swore I remember someone saying that yesterday. The amulet and bathtub ring are both elemental defense. Man, this damage is really bad amongst. Especially Bowser's. But of course. Poke, poke, poke. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, what? It's not moving. Back to work. And go. 156, cool. It's a good number. Ouch, ouch. Now what? Chef Tort. Cake's moving. Talk no more of these. No, really, truly. Why would I lie? Because you are an idiot. See, it is not moving. The cake's alive, run. He was right. No lie. Alright. Toughest battle. Possibly the toughest battle in the game. 
Oh yeah, and I remember now I could have went and bought, spent some frog coins to buy an item that would uh, increase how much damage uh, everybody does. I could boost everyone's attack. Oh yeah, we want Gino boost. So Super, if you're listening, let me know if if uh, we want to use abilities or just basic attacks for everyone. I might have to just test it out, you know? In fact, we'll save it here. Ah, oh, we lost our time. That's all right. That's the first time Bowser's been put to sleep. Game on everyone. Nine tomorrow, 22 to Gino. Makes me think the amulet might have actually helped here. So I recall someone saying for Mario to use regular ass jump. Let's try it, we'll compare it to his basic damage. Whoa, 255, yeah. That is the ticket then. 255 for a regular jump, holy crap. That's way more than what we were getting with our double jump. Exactly. Let's look at Mario's damage. One. I think that amulet is really working. One again. Gino needs healing soon. Maybe not quite yet. And boop. One up. Oh, I guess we'll hold off before we heal Gino. So we're going to try his basic attack first. Man, maybe I should do a Gino boost on him. I guess. Just in case the basic attack is great. <laughs> Attack up, so that probably won't affect his ability attacks. Gino's gonna be healing very soon. Dude, that's messed up. You can use these two in a row. I'll bet, like, all out amulets would be ideal. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that Mario, uh, his jump is probably gonna be the strongest attack against this guy that he has. Um, or do I wanna heal Gino? You hear the sound effect on the attack up after the build-up. Time when you hit it. The uh, sound effect on after the build-up. Right, right. Um, I'm trying to find that, yeah. So, I don't know. Mario might have the best attack. Oh, he only did 255 once. Now he's just doing regular damage. Let's see if we can get a freebie. I wonder if freebies are more likely on bosses. Probably not, because you mentioned uh, it's the cure of the rat. But it depends on the item, right? Saw that 255 looked like the best timing. Yeah, it must have been, but that's more than a 1.5 boost, you know? That's like a crazy boost. It's like a super high boost. It's like 3x or so. 130 seems quite randomized. Okay, so Gino has used boost on himself. Let's see what its attack does. 148, that's probably going to be better than Gino Beam. More than likely. And everyone's got Gino Boost. 225. Yeah, I'm thinking damage is extra randomized against this boss. Man, I wish we could defend against some of this stuff. Man. Okay, Mario's actually been doing less damage than Gino's basic attack. Plus, I just want to see what Gino Beam does. Let's find out. Gino Beam. Okay. There's our jump, finally. 102. Yeah, Gino's attack is way better. That is cray. Uber cray. So the one item that could be helping us a lot is from the tadpole shop. If we had bought the thing that increases everyone's defense at once. Right when Gino fires is his time. Are, are you talking about on Gino Beam? Because we got his attack boost down pretty well, but uh, I'm still struggling with Gino Beam. Anyways, his attack is better. But, oh yeah. Oh no, there's plenty of room to get it right. To get his normal attack right. I think I usually get it. Although I'm not sure about that. Right when he, when he fires. Oh, so I might have done it late that last time, if that's the case. OK, 
Okay, that wasn't bad. I'm gonna try Mario's attack on his next turn. We're averaging about 130. I think that was... Yeah, that was a boost, definitely. Wow, why are we doing, like, twice as much damage as before? 314? What the crap? We only gained one level and her damage is, like, insanely higher. 114, that's pretty close to what he does for the jump. Got it, yeah. Levels up, but it was only a single level, dude. I wouldn't have, I mean, based on the stats, Mario gained maybe, like, four attack. I like, should double it. Unless there's some crazy formula related to defense. Like if, you, if your attack is just a few higher than their defense, it's like exponentially higher. See, now this cake is cake. A single level game. Levels are powerful, only 30. Yeah, apparently. That's like way bigger boost than it looked like based on the numbers. Insanity. 186, that sounds good. What? I didn't see the damage. Could heal Gino. I guess I will, just in case he does, like, a double damage. Especially if he uses the buzzsaw on Gino, that could kill him at this point. Hardest part's over. Glad to hear that. Sounded like a boost. And a boost. Yeah, it makes that sound like... Maybe we ought to wait. Whoa. This is Booster's wedding cake. Huh. You'll get that. You'll have a fit if we nibble on it. Huh. Hey, number one. Where's my cake? Booster, sir, there's a 70% chance the object you're standing on is a cake. 70% <laughs> chance. This thing's a cake? Okay, everyone, here's the stumper. How do we eat this? I say we boil it. What do you say? It's way too messy. Why don't you just swallow it? What, in one gulp? That's easier said than done. Come on, Booster, you can do it. Open wide, please. My nerves are shot. I feel like I've forgotten to tie my cord before a bungee jump. Here it comes. Wait, wait. Did the cake just move? Concentrate, sir. This doesn't feel right. I might get a little tummy ache. Mmm, delicious. It's so good it makes me want to cry. Congratulations, sir. The wedding is now officially over. Thanks, everyone. It's a wrap, let's go. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, that's a nice sound effect. That was wonderful. M Mario, you're my knight in shining armor. Finally, let's get back. What a day, can you believe it? I almost got married to that thing. But I, I hope someone marries me someday. Me, me. Toadstool, Princess of Mushroom Kingdom has joined the party. Be sure to bring her back safely. I'm thinking I'll replace Gino with Toadstool. Because I always use Gino my first playthrough. I want to change it up a little bit. He's only level 9. 80 attack, that's pretty reasonable for a healer. 48 defense compared to what? 80? Two thousand defense is insane. And might as well give her something. True form pin, I guess. And what kind of specials does she have? Therapy. Heals to HP and status. Heals the group. HP set. Oh, you know what? Toadstool's probably better for boss fights. And then using Geno in regular battles might be ideal because we can get through them faster with Geno. I still want to try out Mallow's new ability at some point. Eventually. Alright, we did it, guys. Poopy beat the cake. I 
That's a lot of people to talk to. Raz, Mario. That creepy guy just left. Does that mean we can go on with our wedding? Oh, Raz, I'm so happy. Let's get this wedding over with so we can stay in the suite. Then go on our honeymoon. Let's do it. Good job. Thanks, Super. Thanks for the tips as well. All right. You'll have to excuse us. Okay, everyone. We're going to start this from the beginning. Back inside, please. Take your time, folks. Take your time. That Raz, he found himself a real peach. I can't take it anymore. He has to go to the bathroom. She's so gorgeous. Granny's so beautiful. It's lovely, isn't it? Shh, quiet now. I do. I do. You know, you only have to say it once, guys. Let's go back to the Game Boy kid and see if we can bother him into giving us our Game Boy now. Yes, indeed. Tis my melody, my tune. Composed by the one and only, and yours truly, Todovsky. Oh, this is Todovsky. We actually got to meet him. Right on. It's our turn next. You sure you want to do it, guys? I wish the people before us would hurry up. They've been, we've been waiting for 30 minutes now. That's not long to wait for a wedding. Now's his cake for the stay put. Don't worry, Chef Tor. They'll love this. What? What are you doing? Well, that's nice. You just stepped on the... You fools. Same, same dialogue. Doesn't appear to be an Easter egg there. Oh, yeah, that's just the back door. I guess that's it for this building. Time to maybe talk to a couple townsfolk and see if they say anything new. It's going to be held here. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's weird. You, can, you can't walk in certain directions on the stairs. I came here to see where the wedding's going to be held. I don't remember this path. Chancellor's waiting. We're going back now, right? Okay. We need healing. We don't. Whoa. Toaster only has 50 HP. Weak sauce. Let's see if we can get her any new gear. I'm thinking probably not. Bathtub ring. Let's give her the bathtub ring for that elemental resistance. Just hope we have enough gold left for the next shop. We can always fight a few battles sooner or later. Less defense and magic defense, but it should be half elemental. Okay, this is all the same stuff as before. Yeah, when you're on the stairs, you can you can sort of walk left and right, but it's a little finicky. You gotta be standing on the right section of the square. Oh, I see. They don't want us to go here yet. So we need to go talk to the Chancellor first. And on our way, we can go talk to the Game Boy kid. Try and get him to give up his Game Boy. 